hiyo makosa na kufutuma ndani yake But then you come to yourself you repent. Halafu unajirudia unasema oh nasikitika. You repent. Unatubu. Let no devil deceive you. Pepo shetani asikudangani. That you won't be forgiven. Akikomba hutasamehewa. He will forgive you. Mungu atakusamehe. But the but sinning willfully. Lakini kutenda dhambi maksudi. Where there is no forgiveness. Pale mambo hakuna msamaha. Is where you know that truth. Ni wakati unajua ukweli. Truth is revealed to you. Kweli unafunuliwa kwako. But because you it's not popular. Lakini kwa sababu kweli huu si maarufu. You're going to lose your denomination. Utapoteza dhehebu lako. You're going to lose your friend, you're going to lose your, your fame. Utapoteza umaarufu wako. You're going to lose your salary. Utapoteza mshahara wako. Bla 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 bla. Mambo kama hayo. You turn the truth down. Hapo sasa unakataa ukweli having known it's the truth. Ukisha jua kwamba haya mambo ndiyo ya kweli. That is sinning willfully. Hiyo ni kutenda dhambi maksudi. Because there is one sin. Kwa sababu kuna dhambi moja. That is unbelief. Ambayo ni ya kutokuamini. So disbelieving willfully. Hasa kukosa kuamini kimaksudi. Truth is, is revealed to you. Ukweli unafunuliwa kwako. And you see yes this Unaona is. Unaona kweli huu ni kweli. the Bible truth. Si ni kweli Biblia. Women are not allowed to teach. Wanawake hawaruhusiwi kufunza. Not a sub authority of a man. They wanaume. must learn silently. Lazima wajifunze kwa unyamavu. You know that is the truth. Na huo ndio ukweli. Women are not allowed to be preachers. Wanawake hawaruhusiwi kwa They cannot be pastors. Hawezi kwa wachunga. You see it is the Bible Unayona. from Genesis to Revelation. Biblia inasema hivyo kuanzia mwanzo mpaka ufuo. Baptism is in Jesus name. Ubatizo ni katika jina la Yesu. You see it so clearly. Unaiona wazi sana. But now you see but it's not famous. Ah mbona si maarufu? It is not popular. Hii si maarufu. Ah. Ah, bona. My church members will give me. My denomination will turn me down. Ah, no, I'm not ah, waiting. Mimi ni sitaki to, 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 to suffer. Siwezi ku into that narrow. Kuingia katika njia hii ya ambayo ni ndogo sana. Niteseke, nataka umaarufu wangu. Then you turn the truth. Alafu unatupi down. Unaangusha una ule ukweli. There. Hapo hapo sasa. That is a sin unto death. Hiyo ni dhambi ya mauti. That's a sin unto death. Hiyo ni dhambi itakayo kufikishwa kwa mauti. That is someone you should never even pray for. Huyu ni mtu ambaye hata upaswi kumwombea. You are wasting your time. Unapoteza muda wako. He has sinned willfully. Ametenda dhambi maksudi. He has sinned away his grace. Ametenda dhambi paka neema yake ikakusha yote. And there are people many people like that. Na kuna watu wengi tu ambao wako hivyo. Amen. Amina. That is all pa. Huyo sasa ni aina ya orpa. There is a lot we could say around there. Kuna mengi sana ambayo tungeweza kusema hapo. If we talk about the jubilee year. Tena kuhusu mwaka wa jubile. How someone when they had the trumpet to be free. Kama mtu ambaye alikuwa amesikia baragumu ili awe huru. They refused it. Na akakataa kwenda katika njia hiyo. Then a hole was put in their ear. Alafu sasa angetobolewa sikio lake. Meaning you see Kumaanisha this unaona. outer ear here. Hii sehemu ya nje sikio is what traps the sound. Hii ndio inanasa sauti zote to enter into your eardrum. Ili ziingie katika eardrum yako. So when it is hold, sasa ikiwa imetobolewa hivi, it means words will come and just pass. Yaani maneno yatakuwa yanafika hivi yanagonga hapa yanapita tu. You will never be able to trap the sound of God again. Hutaweza tena kunasa sauti ya Mungu iingie ndani ya 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 ya, ya drums zako. When the gospel is preached, injili kihubiriwa, it will just pass over you. Itakupita tu. It will never convict you again. Wala haitakuhukumu tena. That is when now you are closed outside the kingdom. Hapo ndio unakuwa umefungiwa nje ya ufalme wa mbinguni. And there are many opas like that. Na kuna maopa wengi tu. They have had this truth. Wamesikia hii kweli. Some of them are born here. Wengine hata wamezaliwa hapa. They have had the gospel. Wamesikia injili. But they feel the gospel this message is not popular. Lakini hii simona ujumbe huu si maarufu sana. And then because of that. Alafu kwa sababu jambo hilo. If you ask them, ukimuuliza, where is the message wrong? Ujumbe umeenda makosa wapi? They cannot show you. Hawezi kukuonyesha hata sehemu moja. Where is it wrong? Basi ujumbe umekosea wapi? Where are we outside the Bible? Tuko nje Biblia wapi? They cannot show you. Hawezi kukuonyesha sehemu hata moja. But simply, lakini kwa urahisi tu, it is not popular. Anasema ah mbona si maarufu? There is some denomination in town here. Kuna dhehebu fulani hapa mjini. And all the modern girls and all the modern boys. Na wasana wote wale wa kisasa na wavulana wa kisasa. That's where they go. Huko ndio huwa wanaenda. So for that, they turn down Christ. They turn down the word. For that, that is Orpa. 
No more sacrifice. Hakuna kafara kwa mtu kama huyo tena. You see I try to look at the Bible to analyze the, the Bible. Unaona tunajaribu kuangalia Biblia sasa. In the Bible we see people who committed adultery and they were forgiven. Katika Biblia tunaona watu ambao walifanya usharati wakasamehewa. They were they were restored. Walirejeshwa. We see people who murdered. Tunaona watu ambao waliua watu. And they were restored. Na wakarejeshwa. We saw thieves, we see thieves who were restored. Na watu kama hao. But we don't see one man who sold the word of God for money and he was restored. Lakini hatupati mtu hata mmoja ambaye aliuza neno la Mungu ili afaidiki katika njia ya hela. Show me one akirejeshwa. Hakuna hata mmoja, nionyeshe mmoja. Is it Esau? Je, ni Esau? Esau sold the